who's your dream carpool karaoke guest? Who would, do you want riding next well, to you? Well, it's Beyonce, isn't it? Beyonce. It's all a quest to get Beyonce. As far back as 2017, on the Emmy's red carpet with People Magazine, James Corden made it very clear who he wanted to be riding shotgun the most. <laughs> but he also revealed that it was very unlikely to happen. She's got other things to do before she wants to get in a car with me. But five years later, in April 2022, James announced that rides were a limited time only. I've decided to sign for one more year on the show and that this will be, this will be my last year hosting The Late Late Show. So I've no doubt that James amped up his efforts to court Queen Bee. We'll she's try. coming, we'll see. She'd have the prestige of being the final passenger and it would further her persona of being, you know, top of the food chain, the most wanted, hard to get FaceTime with. Well, this is an honor. Well, James ended up getting some historic FaceTime with her in February. Breaking the record for the most Grammy wins of all time. James presented Beyonce with her 32nd Grammy earlier this year. Thank you so much to the Grammys. But she didn't do the standard walk backstage after her win. She just went back to her seat. So his only chance to get a word in was when they hugged. <laughs> so maybe he whispered, Carpool Karaoke, in her ear when she came up on stage. But two months later, and only four more shows to go, Queen Bee did not pull up. Last week of shows, I'm gonna drive you to work. Let's do the final carpool. James's reaction might be, oh my god, I can't believe it's Adele. Or it could be, oh my god, I can't believe it's Adele and not Beyonce. Now, don't get me wrong, Adele is a freaking superstar. She's a huge get. Like, she doesn't do many talk show appearances at all. And her carpool karaoke is the most watched on YouTube with 260 million views. And having her back allowed them to take a trip down memory lane. Because it broke all <laughs> of those records. Yeah. I think seeing how many people watch that made artists like Bruno right, and Gaga okay. and people like that go, oh, hang on a minute, yeah, 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 and absolutely, I'll do this. But any logical person would think that they were going for Beyonce. Not because Beyonce is better than Adele. This isn't about putting Adele down. It's just that James had been very vocal that Beyonce was his number one on his wish list and Adele had already done it. Are you surprised that Beyonce didn't end up doing it in the end? Um, it would have been a huge get because I mean she hasn't done a talk show appearance like in that kind of style in what since the Tyra days. The next thing, Beyonce. What's your favorite type of cheese? I love cheese. Really? So, oh my God, <laughs> she's down. And yeah, she would have had the cachet of being the you know final rider, um, but the way that James shut it down with ET Canada in 2017, there definitely won't be that. I promise you that. He said it so definitively that I wonder if it's not about you know Beyonce not wanting to do it. I wonder if there's some like legal red tape that prevents her from doing it, like song clearance or something like that. Cause yeah, he just said it with such, um, yeah, no, like no wiggle room whatsoever. But yeah, what do you think of Beyonce not being James Corden's final carpool karaoke guest?